Yo, what is going on everybody? It is Tech right here, back with another video about porting CSGO models into Blender. Now, I have done a video like this before, but I have a new method that's really easy, really simple, straightforward, unlike my last video, which was kind of complicated. So I thought I would just show this one to you guys. But anyways, let's just get started. We're gonna wanna have in Blender installed, obviously. I'm assuming you do, just because you're watching this video. We're gonna wanna install something called GCF Scape. And we're going to want to install two Blender add-ons, IO underscore import VMF and Blender source tools. I will leave um, links in the description to all of these if you need to download them. And don't unzip the two zips that will download here because that's just how Blender installs stuff. So uh, anyways, I'm just going to launch up Blender here and get these add-ons installed. All right, in Blender, we're just gonna want to go to Edit, then Preferences, then Add-ons, then Install. And it doesn't matter which one of these you do, um, but I'm just gonna start out with Blender Source Tools just because it's a little bit easier, and just press Check. And that's all you have to do for that one. And then with IO Import VMF, you're gonna press Check, and then you're gonna wanna press this little arrow to make it go down, and you'll see Cache Directory Path. Press this little folder icon. They go to somewhere you can find. You don't really need to mess with it actually, but you just do want to make a folder for it so you don't get a bunch of random files somewhere. I'm just going to call it CSGO cache. Double click that to go into it. Press accept. And then under Valve Game Definitions, press plus. Then detect from game directory. We're going to want to go to wherever program files x86 is for you. So for me, it's on Windows C, but it could be on D drive for you. Um, so just double click that then go to Steam, then go to Steam Apps, then go to Common, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, and CSGO, and stop here, don't click anything in here, then press Detect Valve Game Directory, and it'll do everything for you from there. So then just press Save, and we are done with Blender for now, but I am just gonna remove all this stuff just to get a clean slate. Uh, now we're going to want to launch GCF Scape, and press File Open, and then we're gonna wanna go to Program Files x86 again, and go to Steam again, Steam Apps, Common, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, CSGO, but then we're not gonna stop here, we're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom until we see pack 01 dirvpk uh, It's like third from the bottom, so just press open on that, and then you'll see root, right click that, extract, and make another desktop folder, I'm just gonna call it CSGO files and then just make sure that's selected press ok and it'll start doing this and it's going to take absolutely forever so i'm just going to fast forward until this is done and i'll see you guys in a second Alrighty, so now that that is finished, we can go ahead and close GCF Scape and Finder, it doesn't really matter, um, and come back to Blender, and then all you have to do is press File, Import, and make go down to Source Engine Model Enhanced, and it'll say Q slash MDL, and then go to the directory where we just extracted those files from GCF Scape, so mine CSGO files, root, and here is you're gonna to want to go to models and now here is where you're gonna to want to do something different depending on what you're porting so like weapons will all be storing weapons obviously um, but characters can be a little bit harder because like you can come to characters but you'll see that ain't right and so what you gotta do is come to player and you'll see there's a lot of them here however a lot of them also aren't here, so um, you just kind of got to look around, especially the newer characters. They'll put in random places. They all are here, but, um, you know, they're just not all in that player's folder. But I will be getting one from the player's folder just for demonstration purposes because that's the easiest place to get them. So, um, if I can uh, find it again. There it is, sorry. Um, so I'll just be getting, I'll just pick some random, let's try GS, G9, and then there's variants of them which are like the different kinds, so let's just choose a random one here. And you gotta, do have to wait a second for it to import, because it does take a little bit to fetch the textures and everything and put it all together. Because also this method, you don't even need to set up materials, it'll do all that for you. Uh, 
And now that it is done here, we will see we have the model here, and if we go to Material Preview, just give it a second here, we will see that it is fully textured, and we can come over here to Shading, and see that it has done all these set up for us, it's got all the maps done correctly. And yeah, that's basically all there is to it. Um, if you enjoyed this video, um, like a uh, subscribe will be greatly appreciated, but absolutely not necessary. And I will see you guys in the next one.